So let me set a base for that. So many people may be wondering, right? What's, what's this event? I have seen a couple of you coming and attending this train, the trainer, seeing what Sir is doing. But let me build up the context why this team is here, why these 30 people traveled all the way from different cities and countries to be here. So first thing is, the base, if you see, of everything, why we are here, what we do, is discover yourself. Am I right or wrong? Yes. Right? That's a base. Discover yourself. Everyone would have heard. Your family members, the people who are sitting at the back, the people who are associated with Sadat Sir. Everyone have heard that. And if someone will ask me to explain what is discover yourself, it's very tough for me. Being associated with him in three and a half year, it's still tough for me. So at least it's a good part that all the guests who are sitting at the back end, at the back, they have experienced discover yourself. So the job becomes a little easy. But otherwise, it's very tough for people to convey what Dr. Sadatullah Khan is doing. Why he is traveling cities to cities, why he's going international, South Africa, Kenya, Saudi, and other places. Okay, it's very tough. It was tough for me as well. As of now also, it's tough for me to convey what exactly is DYS. Right? And you all agree, right? You all agree. And it happens, right? It happens. I call that as a new product in a new category altogether. Right? And what we typically perceive, we look for the similarities. Ki aisa kaun sa or same hai. Right? So it's altogether a new product in a new category altogether. There is nothing similar which I have experienced till now, till date, being in the industry for around 15 years. So when I attended, when I thought to experience what this DYS is all about, my context was to learn this and win the game of this world. Okay, that's what we do, right? Number one, be the youngest. Achieve this. Okay, if someone has set this benchmark, you cross that benchmark. If someone is second rank, you come on first rank. If someone is alim, you become mufti, right? If someone gives speech here, you give speech there, right? So that game is there, right? And the reason for me attending DYS was something similar. That let me learn something, let me become a leader, okay? And the leader is someone who is sitting at the chair and just orchestrating and leading certain things, right? What, sir, made me realize, and other people, that we are not here to win the game. At least, the game is altogether different. Sir is here to change the game altogether which we are playing. It's a different game, and you cannot perceive that. And to new people, it's very tough, because they come with a mindset to understand what they have known, the game of the world, right? But once Sir make you realize that the game what you are playing is different, it's altogether a different game, right? He moves you there. Let me put a little bit of more context. As we grow up the ladder in corporates or in the society, we try to contribute socially, okay? And the by default thing which we do is by building an NGO, building some medical institutions, and things like that, okay? We, we think that if we we'll build something, it will help other people. Okay, we are doing this for you. Hey, we are doing this for you. We are doing this for you, this is how you will do. And that's, we think we are doing this to change the world. What Sir makes us realize through Discover Yourself is, this will not solve the problem. This will bring conflicts. And we have seen that. We understand that. Okay? So the base, the seed, the root of discover yourself is you change yourself. You help others change yourself. Okay? You be a facilitator. No one can change other. It's only thing is you can provide those education, distinction, so that they get that and then they'll change themselves. Otherwise, there is no way you can change other. It's not at all possible. 
And after I understood this, I put in me and I changed. And then by imparting this education to other, I see others are also changing. And we really see, we really feel if 8 billion people on the planet can understand if you change yourself, then the peace will come. I think then it would be a good place to live in. Okay? So that's what, in a base, right? This is, I think, the best I can do to explain what Discover Yourself is. Okay? And it's very tough even for the family members to understand. That's what Dr. Sadatullah Khan, when he got this distinction before year 2002, that this is it. Okay? This is the thing which can only do the job. It's the solution to your relationship issues, to your business issues, or any issues you are dealing with. And from that day till today, he's traveling every week, every month, every day, every hour to help people facilitate that journey where they introspect themselves and change them, and then they see the world in an altogether different way. So from 2002 till date, 16 years, he have transformed around 43,000 people. That's amazing. That's amazing. And sadly, this cannot be taught in books. He cannot give you prescription, ki, hey, this is it, go and teach other, they learn. It cannot be done this way. By this time, you know, it needs lots of willingness. It needs some external facilitator to take you deep down yourself. So once you go deep down yourself, then you understand what others are dealing with. And you need enough of this kind, enough of this kind, right? To stand in front of audience like this, who are alims, fazils, doctors, lawyers, NGO founders, number one ranker, youngest in the world, and answer their question, right? Then you come on stage and then you start helping others. So after working, after transforming 40,000 lives in the world, and we are one of us, right? We are in those 42, 43,000, right? Sir thought to amplify and accelerate this effort. Okay? And it can be only through by taking us deep down ourselves, answering our question, because three days, 100, 300 people, you can't do that. And that's the very reason he formed Train the Trainer. And this is the fifth edition of Train the Trainer. And today is the fourth day, and that's what we are here. Okay, so to the guest, we are here to acquire those distinctions, those learnings from Dr. Sadatullah Khan, sir, and go and impart to the cities, countries where we are in. So this is the fifth batch, as I said, okay? So there were people from batch number one, two, three, four, hundreds of them. Let me show you what they have done till now. So that we just get a sense of it, how the efforts which Sir is taking in DYSTT is amplifying in other parts of the world. So let me explain you that, and why I am a diehard fan of Dr. Sadatullah Khan, Sir, is till now very few people I have found who walk the talk. I'll give you one example. So I was arranging, so in, in Mumbai, right? In Mumbai, I thought it's a great insight for me. I can't help Mumbai people. So let me invite Dr. Sadatullah Khan, sir, every time to Mumbai. That's what my initial thing, OK? Let me do that. So I organized many workshops in Mumbai. Alhamdulillah, people transformed. So in one of the workshop, just a week before he had a workshop in Kenya, and we used to coordinate, I and Sir over WhatsApp, uh, what to do, uh, you need any preparation and things like that, okay? And you know like how he is, right? If he's committed to something, he's committed, okay? So he was delivering a workshop in Kenya, day two, uh, and he had some chest pain. Okay, so first day he ignored, second day he ignored, but he said, hey, day three, before going to day three in Kenya, 
or let me go and check doctor. Okay? So he went to doctor on day two, and after examining diagnosis, doctor said, you need to get operated right away. You can't even travel and you can't go back to Kenya. Okay? So, but he had those work. He had committed to workshop. He had committed to workshop to me in Mumbai. 100 people are waiting for that. Okay, he took that decision. His family is in Bombay. He don't know what would happen, right? He got operated now. Just imagine. He got operated, okay? He's back to ICU, okay? And this is what he sent me. Just imagine at that time. Because he was coordinating with me about Mumbai workshop, which is just a few days after he traveled back. Right? He sent me, I said, if you can't see, I'm sorry, but let me read it. So I just replied saying that, MashaAllah, looking charming as always, it's nice selfie, sir. Inshallah, all the reports will be normal and back on stage very soon. At this moment, he replied, Yes, boss. In action, we will be healthy. We come to play. Let's play to the last breath. Never give up until the referee blows the whistle. This what sir said. So again, just visualize this. Be at that moment, sir is just operated, coming out, kept into ICU or ICCU, sent selfie to me, I replied him immediately, and the response is, in action we will be healthy. We come to play. Let's play to the last breath. Never give up until the referee blows the whistle. आखरी सांस तक खेलना है। वो जो शैतान का अटैक है, the denier, कि अभी तो ऑपरेशन हो गया, अभी क्या करेंगे, right? Just see how present he was even at that particular time. See, he have taught us integrity. How? See, that was the perfect example for many distinctions, which I got from him just by staying with him. Right? So we as a leader, we need to acquire this. We need to walk the talk. Let me come back to the old story. Right? This is the fifth DYS train the trainer. And for me, I can get mesmerized. I can get excited. I can say, hey, I can do, I can change the world like Sadat Allah Khan. Right? But it's not possible. Right? Emotions, insights, doesn't help you with anything, doesn't help you anything. You may dance, you may shout, you may cry, but that doesn't help anything. What helps is your actions. And that's what we are here, and we get full support from Dr. Sadat Allah Khan. And to be here, as I said, it takes an effort. So what we did is, after a train the trainer and DYS, which we have done, we went back to our cities, we formed an approach and we realized that just to be a trainer and come here, it takes years of experience, years of wisdom, and you need to invest your time there. And I'll show you how, okay? So what we did is, I formed a group in Mumbai, and there are in Kolkata, Latur, and other places, uh, but let me show you a few. In Mumbai, I called a, made a group, that group is called as Shepherds in Mumbai. S-I-M, Shepherds in Mumbai. And we acquired these skills by coming to train the trainer, by attending multiple DYS workshops. So I traveled back to back 13 DYS workshop just to understand and get distinctions of DYS so that I can stand, I can try, try to help other, and I can try to stand here to talk for two hours. Okay, and then we started, right? So after two or two and a half years, we started seeing those small, small results. So in Mumbai, we are trying to impart these distinctions where people can help to change themselves and see the world in a different way through three methods. One, through workshop. Other, through 101 coaching. And one, through WhatsApp group. And we are seeing tremendous results. We are looking somewhere, hey, if we'll put the same effort 
for next couple of years, we will definitely make more better results than this. So let me show you a couple of them. So in Mumbai, oh, I'm not sure whether you can read this again, uh, but it's a result of 101 coaching. <sighs> coaching and guidance received from you helped me a lot to overcome from many difficult situations in my life. Now, I feel that my relation with my family, friends, and neighbors are more healthy. I'm now enjoying my life in a more better way. So we used to hear this feedback when Sir used to transform others. But now when we as a trainer we are getting, we are enjoying that. Right? So there are many, thank you so much for everything. My life was depressed, now I see a different view towards life. If you see November 20, November 2nd, a person came and said, my son is not studying. Okay? We work with them, with him, not his son. We work with him, not with his son. November 2 is what he came with this complaint. November 24th, he said, the underline one, now my son is okay, performing well academically and emotionally, communicating well, listening well, questioning well, thinking well, and behaving well. Who changed? Father. Right? And from two years, he was struggling to change his son. But again, for us to get that, right, where we can facilitate someone, it took us two and a half years. Right? Again, it was, a, it was a journey. We were not that. We, were, we did not reach there. Right? And there are lots. So in Mumbai, we have Khadija. Khadija, if you can stand. And Dr. Zabin. So these people are with me from almost like two years. Right? But we were struggling, struggling, struggling. And we are not yet there, by the way but we are making an effort. So other feedbacks, I'll not go through all that they have changed. And see, this all clients, if you see, they're not housewives. They're CEOs, they're founders, they're founders of NGOs, okay? So they're not the a typical poor family woman crying, right? So they are the big people, right? They, they understand that the change is needed within, then things are getting solved, okay? So there are lots, lots, and lots uh, Sister Gazelle is doing in Kolkata. So similar feedback, similar feedbacks. Then we do workshops in Mumbai. Again, this is not from Dr. Sadatullah Khan sir. This is through the other people who have done train the trainer. Earlier, like in last TT4, uh, there were Dr. Anika, Hina Sayed, Khalid Salik. So we use those people to do this kind of workshop. And as we are doing, we are learning out of it. Once we fall, we come back to so, we take some learning back, we improve and we do further. Okay? So this is again, this is uh, either from Anika, Khadija or Zabin. So there are many, there are many. And we also do through WhatsApp coaching, we use technology to the best. To the people who can't come, whom we cannot reach, we use the technology through WhatsApp. Right, and see, homemaker, housewife, homemaker, all feedback, right? Apni galti nazar ai. Char weeks, WhatsApp se bohat kuch sikne mila. All coaches, Zabin, Khadija, Anika are superb, right? There are, there are many housewife, doctors. And if you see this, this is a very special slide if you see. Now in this list, minus two years, the same place, it was Khadija and Zabin. It's their old feedback when they were on the other side. And the feedback which I have shown earlier are the work of these two and other train the trainers which we have in Mumbai. So I was just browsing in Mumbai and I saw, hey, that lots of things changed in the last two, two and a half years. So that's the reason this train the trainer. Now, before I call uh, the guest on stage, let me talk about what's the further plan of Dr. Sadat Allah Khan. If you see this as struggle, right, we don't have a structured way, structured approach. For us to acquire this kind of skills require us to travel. It needs a commitment. I used to travel, Khadija used to travel to Kashmir, Kolkata, Chennai, Bangalore. I would have traveled to every cities, right? And most of you know that. Spare our 10 days and come here to acquire 
the deepness, the further introspection in this train the trainer. So what's our further project? What Dr. Sadatullah Khan is aiming to establish an institution in Bangalore in 10 acre of land. Like how we struggled, how Sister Ghazal, how I or how Dr. Saqib have struggled to amplify this effort in their region, it would take the same for other people who have similar thoughts. So the further project which Sir is aiming is to have the land, have all the things in place there so that we come acquire those skills in a very easy way. Have everything. If someone needs a research to do something, the things are in place. If there are any critical cases, CEO is struggling with her wife or big NGO founder of Jamaat or whatever is struggling with his partner, okay, come here. You have the space. Be here. Be in the energy. Be with the people. Have all the resources. If you want, attend the workshops within the institution. Get yourself rejuvenated. So that's what Sir is aiming ahead. And now he's in the process of buying land and then building all this thing, inshallah, in the next couple of years. Okay? And we are looking forward to you all, the train the trainers, to be a part of such efforts and contribute there. So with here, I'll stop my talk. And I hope you got a very high level view of what Sir is up to and what his journey was all about. And I hope the guest, you got a very high level helicopter view of what Sir has been doing in last 16 to 18 years. <laughs>